captain of the Millennium Falcon. I made the Kessel one and fall past it. Good day, watchers, and welcome to another. And that's a clue of what this series video is about today. And today, it's a view of Hans. So no, it's a view of a solo a Star Wars story, as you can see. Um, right, okay, right. I've I've watched people, some certain people's um, view of the film, and some people didn't like it. Some people who, I suppose. I had a dig at it in the beginning and watched the film, didn't like it afterwards. Me on the other hand, okay, I watched the I watched the trailer, right? I wasn't I was not that I was like I didn't really mind the trailers but it's just when they spoke, but when I watched this film, it's like this film was better than I expected, that's for sure. Um Right, let's get okay, let's read the back, okay. Right. Okay, book up for the ride of your life aboard the Millennium Falcon through a series of daring escapes. Hans Solo befriends his mighty future co pilot, Chewbacca, falls through Forging a bomb that will alter the fate of a galaxy. Director Van Howard Hill's epic adventure written by Jonathan and Lawrence Kasdan. It'll be coming to light speed and does it slow down. Uh, well, that story is right. I'll do a small little bit, bit of the story. Right? Okay, right. Han Solo. Um, he's not called Han at the beginning until later. Han Solo at the beginning. But and you see where he gets his name from. Of course, he joins a bunch of galactic smugglers. Um, with, and he meets them. Um, this is where you actually see him meet Chewbacca. And that scene was cool when he meets Chewbacca. I like the way they did that. I was pretty inventive. That was pretty cool. Of course, they have to go um, travel to Kessel to get some. They have to get some vi um, viable coaxium, whatever it is. Some kind of coaxium. I have no idea what it is. Some kind of explosive stuff. Um, some whatever stuff. Um, but anyway, along the way, um, they have a few, you know, a few hurdles along the way. Um, the train sequence is very good. This scene where they're on the train is like a cool little train thing, and that sequence was good. Um, the effects are fantastic in the movie. I like the part where you actually see the Kessel Run and Parsec, 12 Parsecs. Um, that scene was actually really good. Um, it wasn't short, it wasn't too long, it was just right. Um, that scene was pretty well done. I thought it was pretty cool. It was all like, because when he does it right, when he goes through this like. It looks like a clad. When it goes through it, man, it's like it looks quite scary and dangerous because you can't see anything. And and it's pretty cool the way they do. I thought, geez, that's crazy. Even I'm like, because it, it's like things in the way, like I don't know what it is, like rocks and stuff in the way and stuff like. It's like, and you can't and they can't see anything. I don't know what it is that like, rocks and stuff. And then and then and then you and then there's like some kind of like freaking creature. So that's in, and that scene was quite cool too. I like the way they did that. Um, but yeah. This film was actually a lot better than expected. Fantastic effects. I suppose the droid was kind of annoying, but not as bad as expected. Um, but the robot on it, the you know, people keep calling it the social justice robot. Um, but I'm guessing it was a joke. It looked, I think it was a joke more than anything. I'm sure it was. Um, it looked the robot actually design was cool. I like the robot. The voice on the other one, not so cool. I don't know. It was a bit. I don't know. It was weird. But she was uh, the robot wasn't that bad though. I mean, anyway, get to the film. Now. Um, okay, right. Okay, of course. Along the way, they meet uh, Lando Calrissian. Of course, he's young, of course. And the guy who actually plays him does a really good job. Um, I wasn't really expecting much of. I mean, I, I saw the trailer. I was like, oh, that's pretty good. That was decent. But then when you watch, he's actually he's actually better than I expected. Um. Yes, has the Millennium Falcon, because when you see the Millennium Falcon, it's like new, it's clean, and it's new, but until later on in the film, where you actually, when you see, you know, the at Kessel, and the ship gets completely, you know, broken and everything, and that's how it gets, you know, uh, loses its freaking front part and stuff, and that scene was quite cool, I even I thought this film was a blast, um, I enjoyed it, it's a fun movie, um, sometimes I should watch, stop watching people's YouTube videos, because sometimes it could, like, put you off watching a movie, and I was gonna think about like, watch this until I saw people. Oh, it's not like great, and I thought to myself, huh? Maybe I don't, won't go see if it's that bloody bad. But I gotta watch it. I enjoyed it. I had a blast watching it. Um, and there's a cool little scene at the end of the movie with the hologram. I thought, oh my god! I knew that. Scene. I saw that scene coming, but it's actually better than I expected that scene was because I thought it would be, you know, it's just a cool the way that a, 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 a character from the Phantom Menace, and it's just, oh wow! I'm glad to put that scene in as a. I'm glad to put that scene in because who knows they might actually do a sequel to this. I don't think they do a sequel to this. Um, uh, great visual effects. Um, I like the way that he's got his solo name and stuff like that. That scene was cool. Um, the 
There's certain characters don't last long in this film. Even I was like, she didn't last long in the film. Or he or she, whatever. Um, but her on Game of Thrones, she's pretty good and I like her in it. She's not a bad actress, I told this. The guy, okay, right, let's get to the nitty gritty now. Chewbacca, he's good in it. I liked him. I like the way he actually, you know, that scene was quite cool with him. I like that scene where he actually meets him in it. And Han Solo makes his noises up. <laughs> so, um, and to be honest, the guy who played Han Solo wasn't as bad as I expected because when I watched the trailer, I was like, oh, it doesn't sound nothing like him. But when you watch the film, it's not. It does. It just show his mannerism and stuff like. It does show his like. You know, Han Solo knows to buy him. Um, it doesn't do a bad job actually. It's better than expected the guy was. Um, there should have certain parts that never showed in the in the trailer, which it should have really showed. Um, but yeah, and the guy, like I said, the guy who plays me isn't a, is not that bad actually. I was actually quite. I wasn't. I wouldn't say I was like super impressed, but I still, it, it's plausible. His performance was plausible. Um, it was good. It wasn't that bad actually. Just, you know, his acting wasn't that bad actually. It was a pretty good job. Um, especially when Kira and him get separated. That scene was quite good. The way he starts going, losing a little bit, sharpening and stuff. That scene was good. Um, like I said, the guy who plays Lando, fantastic. I, I thought it was a really impressive performance. I hope they do a, a, I can't hope they do a sequel to this. In a, yeah, because the last part was quite interesting. I thought, yeah, I'd like to see a certain character turn up in the next one from the other films. Because um, when he does meet Lando Calrissian, I mean, he plays that game called, you know, the, he tries to win the Falcon off, off him by. Um, but he doesn't at first until when he plays in the last part and it's like, Jesus Christ, I like the way they did that. We Lando kind of cheats and stuff. That scene was good. I like that part. He's cheating a little bit, you know. Tries to beat him the second time around. Of course, um, a hand solo freaking kind of sees how he, you know, how he cheats and stuff. Um, so yeah. Like I said, the effects are fantastic. As well. I was like, Jesus Christ, especially when you see the part where and um, the camera goes into the ship and they're going into the ship. That scene was good. That scene was really quite good. Ron Howard did, Howard did a great job of this film. Um, I guess I wasn't really expecting much. I thought, oh, hmm. And then when you watch it, you think, you know, that film was a lot better than I expected. A lot better. Um, it wasn't slow. I watched some person's video. Um, I won't say who, but I was watching the video. I said it was slow or something. I thought, well, I don't know. I don't know what they're on about. Maybe it was a bit of talk in certain parts, but that was about it. But then the action, he, then the action heats up in the film. Um, hyperspace, you know. So yeah, and uh, great action is there. And what the characters? Yeah, he's like this main villain in it, right? And he's like the character that who's a mo mo oh, I can't remember the he wears the, they wear like a mask for I can't remember the name now. Um and you don't see what they look like until later on in the film of course. Um I'm not really surprised when I saw. I thought them, he. Um because I kinda of read some of that who they are and it's um but there's another character, he kinda of loses he kinda of, he's kind of a nut nutcase, he's kinda of has these kinda of like things on his face and when he gets angry or something he goes red or stuff like that. Um, he's a complete nutter, of course. Yeah, so yeah, that guy, that guy was kind of like freaking a bit nutter. He's a, he's a good actor, actually. The guy who plays, I've seen him before. Um, good action scenes. Like I said, the Kessel one is probably my favourite scene in the whole movie. Um, that scene was very, very cool. The inside of the ship was cool. The design was cool of the ship. Um, how it looked before it. Um, Han Solo got his grubby little hands on it, and um, but yeah. Great visual effects, great ending to it, a good, a good way to end for a sequel, of course, I don't think there will be one, huh? I don't know, there might be though, who knows. Um, and you get, you see some great aliens on this film, you see some fantastic aliens. Um, yeah. Uh, the train sequence was cool, the effects cool, the music was great, you actually hear some Star music in it and stuff like that. Um, the scene when they're in the Castle Run, it, it kind of, it does, on um, Castle, it kind of reminds me of the scene from, I suppose, Empire Strikes Back, the, the asteroid field and stuff like that, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Um, yeah, when you actually see the Falcon take off and stuff, it's just like, oh my god, the effects are just sweet on this one. There's the Falcon there, of course, fantastic. Um, of course, the shit does look different though, it's like all white, completely white, of course. And then, you know, it's then it starts to get a slight bit freaking damaged and stuff and stuff like that so yeah so yeah the guy like I said the guy playing Han Solo is plausible it's not that bad actually wasn't it I mean he won't say he's like you can't be Han Solo Harrison Ford but 
the guy does a decent job. Um, I think the robot's a bit annoying, but then something happens to the robot, so that's alright. So, <laughs> apart from that, it wasn't that bad. It was not my favourite character, but I like, it wasn't that bad. Uh, but I still think um, the guy who plays uh, Lando stands out in this film. Slightly bit more than the um, guy who plays Han Solo. He's a lot. He's more better than Lando to what thing is in, as Han Solo. And of course, Chewbacca is easier because you just have some guy in a suit, right? <laughs> Noise like that, so you do. So yeah. So yeah, okay, I'm going to give a rating this film. Things I liked about the film. And the effects were excellent in the film. Fantastic effects. Great action. He's good pace in the movie. It wasn't slow. Um, I like the way they explained a few things. How, they, how we got the ship, how the castle one running 12 parks at one. Um, and the last part was fantastic with a certain character popping up at the end. I thought, wow, that was cool. I really hope to make a sequel with that person, the character. In. Um, I suppose they did look a bit older and stuff when they, when, they, uh, when they stood up and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, what I didn't like about this film. Um, I don't know, I'm trying to think what I didn't like about it. I suppose the droid was a bit annoying, but it wasn't as bad. Bit, but I still liked it. Yeah, you know, she, she looked a great design on the droid, though. Um, there was something else. I can't remember what it was. I suppose Kira was as good as when you have a character called Kira. You think, and she wasn't a patch on Kira Fisher's um, Princess Leia. Hell no, not a patch. Um, um, so I'm not, I'm not the guy who plays so It does a decent, decent job actually. It doesn't do a bad job at all. Because Hans Harris Ford is strong, is a very good actor. I mean, he's not the great, you know, the greatest actor of all time, but he's a good actor and he's got a lot of charisma. And it's a difficult, I suppose, it's an odd choice to make uh, who to choose. But you know, that kind of YouTuber would have been perfect, I think. But yeah, um, I'm not sure how would have done in a Star Wars movie, but I think he would have done a decent job. But the guy playing Hans on this it does a decent job. So yeah, um, so yeah, so the rate I'm going to give this film is a. 8 out of 10 because I really enjoyed it and uh, not, 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 not one of my favourite Star Wars movies but I enjoyed it. So yeah, 8 out of 10 for Solo a Star Wars Story. Definitely worth a pick up guys. Like I said, it's one of those movies that you're going to either dislike or love, you know. Um, but, um, but I couldn't really see no wrong with the film. It had pace in it and loads of action. Great scenes where you, where you see those attack walkers dropping down from the and that scene was cool with Solo's that in battle and stuff, the war scenes are great, the grittiness is fantastic. There is a bit of swear, almost swearing in this film, this slot bit, but not like the F word or the F bombs and stuff like that, nothing like that. Um, but yeah, but yeah, apart from that, really enjoyable film. Not, some of the characters don't really last long, like I said, in this film, but some of them do. Um, I mean, a bit of a spoiler there, Han Solo survives and Chewbacca survives, and of course Lando Calarizian survives too, by the way. So yeah. Um, oh, even the Falcon survives. So yeah, well, kind of. Then it looks a bit like freaking. Looks like some rust bu bucket freaking what? Uh, it looks like a rust bu bucket end of the film. So yeah. Uh, so yeah. Eight out of ten for a Star Wars story. Good move, off. Definitely worth picking up. Like I said, people, I mean, I could have said I hated it just to, you know, but you know, I enjoyed it. I ain't gonna lie. I enjoyed it. So yeah. So anyway people, remember to subscribe to my channel and um, I may the force will be with you. See you later, bye. Uh, that's all I'm going to do now, of course, I've done my review there. So um, have a nice day, have a nice evening, have a nice morning, wherever you live. And see you later, bye.